Uh, everyone, we have um, a whole grains, we have a whole wheat orzo, which really is a pasta, a really a pasta, really good, really good uh, plain, right? We have quinoa, uh, we have quinoa, wonderful, very unique uh, texture, and, and we know that people eat what tastes good and what their texture preference would be. So it's not just taste, but it is texture. Uh, we have barley, and, and barley uh, really moderates blood glucose very high in beta glucan, uh, which is the, the uh, 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 soluble fiber that will lower cholesterol of the LDL form, right? So we prepared the barley with um, uh, walnuts, uh, uh, omega-3 rich walnut, and a little bit of cinnamon. So it's really good. Uh, so it's cinnamon, barley with walnuts, right? Uh, we have a barley uh, cooked in uh, fat-free chicken broth. Uh, it's a great side. Uh, again, uh, arguably, the healthiest whole grain is barley. And so if you've never had barley, we brought it in two different forms. Uh, kind of a, uh, a more of a sweet form uh, with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of brown sugar, and walnuts. Uh, and then we have couscous, and we have couscous. Uh, so, uh, uh, a wide variety of uh, whole grains, and the rest a uh, uh, medley of uh, watermelon, uh, and berries, and oranges, and papaya. Uh, a number of people said they never had papaya. But here is papaya. I love it. It may be my, my favorite fruit, uh, but that's my own preference. Or peaches. I, I like orange uh, fruit. Uh, so, uh, papaya, cherries, uh, grapes, uh, all three different colors of berry, uh, rather peppers. Um, we have hummus, we have three different hummuses, uh, uh, garbanzo bean, uh, and we have cabbage, uh, not cabbage, forgive me, I keep saying cabbage, uh, Brussels sprouts. When I was a kid, I did not like Brussels sprouts. I love them now. I love them. So, so we know that taste preferences can change, right? And we have cabbage for dipping into the hummus, right? Or peppers for dipping into the hummus and tomatoes for dipping into the hummus, right? So um, I'd like to introduce uh, Liana Pulizar. She is uh, my fantastic graduate student and study coordinator who's been helping me with two other research studies that we're doing. Um, here at Cal State Fullerton, and we'd like to uh, introduce you to the Rate My Plate um, activity board. Um, as all of you know, and the other person that's not here, I don't see her, is Dr. Chandler, who was very helpful and strategic in putting this together. So I'd really like to thank her as well. So as you know, the new guidelines have changed, right? If you look at the history of the USDA, it goes from, initially it was the four food groups, and then it went to the pyramid, and then my pyramid, and it's changed drastically. And then now they've kind of gone back to the four food groups in some way. So we really wanted to encourage, you know, our goal is we, we have over 30,000 students at Cal State Fullerton, and one of it is to introduce them to nutrition, what are the nutrition guidelines. So we created this activity that has um, the My Plate on it, and then also the 10 tips to, uh, to a great plate, you know, balancing your calories, enjoying your food, avoid oversized portions, uh, foods to eat more often, uh, make half your plate fruits and vegetables. But really the activity was to see, okay, do you meet your mic, the mic plate guidelines? And we had a, a, a um, fair, we went to the health fair and did this there. And I'll, I'll let her go into it more. So you basically take it, you know, if you have a, a let's say, a meatball during the day, you know, it, it sort of goes in there, and the protein, sort of, and then if you go to the Doritos, where, where do they go? They don't go anywhere, right? So, they, so, so we have this black hole over here, right, that they go. If you, if you have, I mean, I mean, so we had things like French fries. Where do they go? They don't go anywhere, right? So this is kind of what students might eat. Maybe a taco. Where does that go? That really does not go on the, I mean, the meat, but could you consider that protein? Not really. 
you know, the meat in there. So it just is an activity to, is to maybe let them think a little bit more. So I'll let Leanna add to it. So we used it during the CSUF annual health fair. And being a health fair, people are just crossing, pass, passing by. They're not there for too long. So we wanted something quick, something engaging still, something where it's visually appealing and where they can still take the knowledge in. Um, and as Dr. McElligot said, it's just introducing the mind plate. So in understanding it, we, we want to see how their plates look. So we would tell them, how would you rate your plate? And they would put up a burrito. Where do you put it? They didn't know where to put it. Where do you put a cheeseburger? Do you put it in the vegetable? We have some lettuce. Do you put in the protein? They have the meat. But where do you actually put that? Um, and then after knowing where their, how their plates look like, we would ask them how to make a better plate. How can they go about you know, putting in the four food groups? And so we have here on the side vegetables. And as you can see, there's different colors of vegetables. So you get different nutrients in the vegetables. So we, we emphasize on putting more color into your plate and um, making sure that each plate, it has a portion of what is shown in the my plate method. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it really is to more gravitate more toward these areas. That's what we're really encouraging them to do, is to pick the green vegetables, the red vegetables, the yellow vegetables. And of course, there's always critics of guidelines, right? Because this is, we talked to the USDA, I went to a conference and went to the booth where the USDA was, and we asked them that this is kind of very simplistic. You know, it really is in terms of um, how do you guide them. But they actually said that that was kind of the intent, was to make it simplistic. So to help, to help for people to follow. So, it was actually really neat because usually when you go through a nutrition table in a health fair, they're talking to you, they're giving you this knowledge, but it's hard for you to take it in and come back home and remember it. But you're interactive with the board and you're seeing how you, um, how your nutrition and your dietary habits are like and seeing how you can make it better for yourself. So it's really tailored to the individual also.